Coming your way, we have some summer fare in the form of a shrimp salad and a cool treat. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Laverne Didi. And we've got some submitted recipes today by some consolidated employees that are to die for. Absolutely. Our own cameraman Tom submitted a shrimp recipe that he raves over and Rhonda Ducard gave me her key lime pie recipe which she says it never fails. And it doesn't. I already made one. All so right. That's great. Um, okay with uh, the shrimp salad we're, we're gonna start with two pounds of uh, uncooked shrimp. You okay. don't want the cooked, you want the uncooked. And the reason too, you get a little bit more flavor uh, within the shrimp uh, if you do the uncooked okay. stuff. So we're going to come over here and what I've already done is I've got a uh, kettle boiling in water. You want a good quantity, a big kettle water to sure. put in here and stuff. And I put in a shrimp and crab boil seasoning bag. It's a sachet. You just put that in there and boil that up and it gives wonderful flavor and one thing you don't have to strain anything. It's just right, right in that sachet. And there. there's just the right ingredients right in there. Absolutely. And then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of uh, kosher salt. Okay. Do that. And I've got a half a lemon here cut in just to wedges and we're going to also put that in there. Okay. And get that boiling. Got some great and, flavors going in there. Oh, it is. It smells wonderful. So we'll just get that. And what I did was, you know, I put that sachet in here. Uh, it's been in there for a few minutes boiling already. Okay. Just to get the flavors out because you're only going to cook the shrimp about three minutes. Okay. You know, it doesn't take very long. So you have your water good and hot, boiling. You drop your shrimp in and that. So, and... Like I said, it was two pounds of shrimp, and this recipe is so easy to double if you know you're going to take it for like a, you know, a potluck uh, or a summer or anywhere you want to go, and there's going to be a group of people. Double it. It's easily, easily okay. done. The only thing I wouldn't do is you don't want to put four pounds of shrimp all in, it, in, in this at once. Okay. Just put two pounds in and take that out, then bring it back to a boil, and... Do your second batch. The second batch. Sure. So, all right. So we're going to just put that in there and just let that cook for, like I said, about three minutes. Set and from what site. Tom was telling us, you just don't want to overcook shrimp where it gets like rubber. Right. And so. that just, you know, so you have a little pink color that it, it uncooked shrimp has kind of a clear, uh, loose, Oh, look it's to grayish it. color. Yeah. Right. And when you cook it, it's going to be nice and, you know, have a little bit pink, white or whatever. So okay. I'm going to bring that. In fact, I'm going to use this bowl again here. So I'm going to put that in my water. We have a big bowl of ice. I put a little bit of water in it, but mostly ice because when the shrimp is done, we're going to just put it in here, get it cooled. Okay. So that we can start our salad. All right, sounds and that, great. And it's so easy with the other ingredients. And like I said, I'm gonna quick just wash my bowl here so that we can mix our other ingredients and that. And um, it's, you're gonna use red onion, uh, about a half of chopped red onion. Okay. Um, celery, it was three stalks of celery and mayo and some mustard and dill. That dill, I mean, I had some fresh dill from the garden, and that is such a wonderful flavor in this salad. And that, so it's kind of nice if, you know, this time of year you can, uh, if you have fresh dill, and I even have uh, frozen dill and used it oh, later in the year, but sure. uh, nothing like uh, fresh. And that's pinking up already. It is. So let's maybe... That was probably about two minutes already. Yes. And the thing is, you know, the shrimp are cold and it cools down the water. So you want to get it, you know, really hot again. So okay. might, you know, you're looking at that good three, 
good three minutes okay and stuff so so let's just come over here and let's put some ingredients in here we're going to start with uh, a cup of mayo and definitely don't use miracle whip you okay. want to use mayo the real stuff that. correct and again okay if you have the the light mayo on hand you know we can always cut a few calories so you can have that second helping think that will work so no. <laughs> you mean that doesn't count <laughs> so Maybe we just got to get a little bit better at exercising so we can have all that good that stuff. we can have that sure so let's get that in there so like i said a cup of mayo okay and this you just put in you don't have to put it in any certain uh, order and that so just get that and then we're going to do a, a tablespoon of white wine okay and you can also use um white wine i mean a, a vinegar white wine vinegar okay but nothing like the real thing and that so that and then i'm going to use a, a teaspoon well about a half a teaspoon of uh, dijon's mustard okay pond They had the best um, commercial with the the guy that pulls up in the in the car and rolls does, down the window. Yeah. I don't know how old that commercial is, but I still remember it. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna come over here and let's just check our shrimp again and see. And I think that looks just pretty good. They look perfect. And that. So we're gonna turn this off here, and just with a slotted spoon, just put that into our ice. I'll just get that lemon out of there. Now that's one thing that doesn't uh, shrimp doesn't take long to cook, so not at all. Definitely don't uh, you know overcook it. Got the lemon. And you know, being uh, this, I guess I could have just poured it in a colander too. And that because I just not going to double the recipe. I'm just going to make the one and I don't need that the water again. So that's one thing, like I said, if you don't have a big slotted spoon or find that a little bit more difficult, just put them in a colander and strain it like that. Sure. Well, make, make sure you get all those out. Oh, definitely. So set that aside there bring that over and let's just get that mixed in give there give them a cool bath yeah it's gonna really cool it down fast but it shocks them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. they, they're not cooking anymore yeah. and I just had a nice bowl of um, ice I just put a little bit of water in there so that you know you can stir that a little bit and that and so we're going to just set that aside a little bit okay. and we'll finish putting our ingredients in here and we're going to i'm going to uh, get to get my washcloth here so we're going to do about a half a teaspoon of pepper okay I'll use a spoon this time because my hand is wet. I'll have pepper sticking all over. And uh, about um, three tablespoons of fresh dill. Okay. You know, and uh, I just went out to the garden. And, you know, don't chop it with a knife. Use a, uh, your scissor and just snip it oh. the little pieces and that. And it works a lot better than if you wanted to chop it. Okay. So a nice little tip with that. So let's just mix that up here. Careful there. I'm getting carried getting away with the whisk. A little vicious here. <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh well, that looks like. <laughs> that's why you wear an apron. That's, that's right. So like I said, I've got a half a cup of red, red onion chopped okay. and uh, three stalks of celery. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. 
and I'll probably just take my whisk out of there and use my spatula to stir there. And you know, the celery and the onion, it just gives it a great little crunch to that shrimp. Mm -hmm. and so, I mean, it's so simple, you know, for something that tastes so good, you know, it's just amazing that uh, recipes can be so simple. Well, that's so that's, good. That's Isn't good. That great? They, they, they need, some of them new, do need to be simple for simple cooks. <laughs> ah, that's right. So uh, set that there. And the shrimp should be probably getting pretty cold here. Oh, yeah. But we're going to um, make a key lime pie. Okay. So I need to boil a fourth cup water. So I'm going to get that going so that this cools a little longer. Okay. And we'll get both things going at once. And with this, uh, we're using a, a box of Jello. Okay. Um, you can this dessert or this key lime pie. You can make it. It can be a real diabetic uh, dessert. You know, a treat for somebody, because you can get your, uh, you know, graham uh, sugar-free uh, graham cracker crusts. You use uh, sugar-free Jello, and you use uh, your light key lime pie yogurt. Okay. And you, you can use your fat-free or your light Cool Whip. And it would be a great dessert for somebody that sometimes feels a little left out that they right. can't have all that treat. So, um, and it, it's great if you even aren't diabetic. You, know, you want to lighten up. Lighten you can, up. Yes, Absolutely. definitely. Use what you got. Yes. So, and so it's a package of the small box of the lime jello. Okay. And let's see, that's just, a fourth cup doesn't take very long to boil. It doesn't. So we're going to get that here. And just put that in. Get that dissolved. Yeah, so here's a job for you. you All right, mix, that's something I can handle, stirring. Yeah. <laughs> mix that up really good. And then we use, um, we're going to go ahead and put a carton of Cool Whip in here. And I did take the pie crust, um, the graham, kind of cheated, and I did buy. Okay. So once in a while, you know, you got to do that. Must uh, have had stuff. a good sale on those, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it helps <laughs> because I normally always make my own graham cracker crust. So, uh, eight ounce carton of Cool Whip, okay, and then two uh, of your key lime yogurts, okay. So we'll have that in there. I love the smell of key lime. It's so fresh. It is. Just great. You know, and I never, uh, when I have yogurt, I like the, you know, the ones with the chunky fruits in and stuff. And I've always kind of stayed away from, uh, you know, just a basic mm -hmm. yogurt like this. But this is so good. It is. I, I was really amazed how good it is. And both of these here recipes, you can conjure up so quickly, you know, you, it doesn't take very long. Uh, the pie, you, it, it's good to chill, you know, a couple hours before serving. Okay. That but it's, it's got really basic ingredients that if you had last minute company, you could whip it up quickly, put it in the fridge and have it for a dessert. Definitely. Absolutely. And what's so nice, you could... You know, make it the day before too if you, you know, just want to save a little time the next day to enjoy your family or company or, or have it all by yourself. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. I won't tell anybody. So, uh, the Cool Whip, um, the two cartons of key lime uh, yogurt, and I'm going to add just a couple of uh, drops of uh, cream de mint. Okay. In here. And that's optional. You know, if you don't have it, you know, you're, it's not anything that you have to, uh, feel like you're having to run out and just buy that but uh, 
it just gives it a little bit more, a little more flavor. Okay. I think our jello's dissolved. How's that looking? Pretty good. So it it's is. just enough there so that you know you dissolve your jello. And that, and I'm gonna just take a quick look at our shrimp again. You know that looks like it's really I'm going to get um, a colander and put the shrimp in, just let it drain a little bit before we put it into our sure. uh, dressing there. So we don't, we don't make that all runny. Yep. So, and we should probably put it on a plate so I don't have water running all over the cupboard. And I'm going to just use my hands a little bit so I don't get the ice in there. Isn't that amazing, you know, to have shrimp look like this only boiling like three minutes? It, it didn't amazing. take long to pink up at all. It does not. And they really do feel feel cold, so don't hesitate about using plenty of ice and very little water. Well, it melted pretty fast. Mm-hmm. It did. Well, that shrimp just fell in the bowl all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery little guys. Yeah. All right, just about down there. So it makes a, a pretty generous salad, you know, uh, just with the two pounds and everything there. So let's just leave this set a little bit drain, drain for a little bit, and we'll finish up our key lime pie. And because you only use a fourth cup of water, you know, you're going to get some nice coloring in that, and that sets up so quickly. It almost looks like you're adding cream de mint to that. It does. And stuff, so. And I like to use uh, my spatula just to mix this. You're not going to want to use a, a, a beater. No, just folding yeah. it. You're just going to fold that all in there. And like I say, you can just see, you get that nice green cream de mint color or key lime pie color. Sure. And being you only have a fourth cup of boiling water until you're stirring in that, it's uh, cooled off quite a bit. You're not pouring um, boiling water. You know, the jello isn't that hot anymore when you're adding it to your Cool Whip and, and yogurt, and it stays into a nice consistency. So we're going to add it to our uh, nine inch pie shell. I don't think it gets much easier than this. It isn't. But you can't let anybody know how easy it is. You know, they're going to rave how delicious it is. So they're going to just think you slaved over it. And why let them know it's that easy? Well, we do have a couple viewers out there that might catch on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So um, it gives a nice filling in a nine, in an 8-inch. I mean, this is a 9-inch okay. uh, graham cracker shell. But you certainly... I mean, if you had a smaller one, you're going to just uh, end up, you know, a uh, little bit more filling. Okay. And stuff. So just look at that. It's perfect. So let's set that aside. Like I said, we're going to put that in the fridge and chill that. Okay. And now we're going to add that in there and just mix that. Shrimp is just... I love and this shrimp. is a, and this is a great meal that you don't have to heat up your house. Of course, you do have to boil a little bit of water, but that's not going to heat up your house that much. No, you don't have to set the oven on or anything like that. Absolutely. Have a great meal. 
And like I said, that, that dill just is just the finishing touch, just a wonderful, wonderful salad. I mean, flavoring in that. And if, well, you know, you got uh, that celery and that onion gives it a nice little crunch, there's no reason, you know, if you like a little bit more, add a little bit more. Sure. And you got plenty of dressing here that's going to, you know, serve well. And let's get our pie out of the refrigerator that we've already made. Okay. And it's kind of nice when you do cheat a little bit, you know, these pie shells and then that uh, this covering here that you're going to use for a cover for the pie actually is, you know, keeping the graham cracker from breaking. So, but it's a great cover. And that, so let's just get a nice piece out there and show our viewers how great it is. And one thing too, you know, is say if you were going to make your own um, graham cracker crust, even leaving a, little, a few little cr crumbs, you know, back and just adding it on top to garnish it a little bit. Yes. There, so let's, we're going to get our plate here and why don't we, here, I'll let well, I'll let you take out the shrimp. That's safer, I think. I don't know I'll about that. Take out the pie. I think I'm going to like both of these recipes. <laughs> oh, just look at that there. That is just okay. perfect. Oh. I can't think of anything more that I'd like to have right now. Oh. I think we can, yeah. Maybe when our viewers aren't watching us anymore, we'll have a bite or two. That's right. <laughs> or we can just say, so good. <laughs> and I'll, again, we like to thank Tom Jablonski for submitting the shrimp recipe and Rhonda Ducar for submitting her key lime pie yeah, recipe. Yeah. Thank you so much. And for you to submit your recipes to Cook and Crave, just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com. We'd love to cook them for you. As always, thank you to the workshop as our sponsor. Have a great day.